All right, so our character has textures, and what we need to do is we need to export this color information, which is embedded inside of our mesh, outside of ZBrush. As you can see, under texture map, we don't have a texture map created. We don't have UVs, and all our color information is inside of what we call polypaint. ZBrush uses a technique where all the color information is embedded in the mesh, in the polygons of the mesh. So in order to create UVs, we are going to go to Z plugin and we're going to use the UV master plugin. I have placed my Z plugin on my left tray and I'm going to open UV master. Now UV master does not work on high density meshes like this one right here. I do have a base mesh, a lower subdivision. So if I move my slider inside of geometry from subdivision level seven, down to subdivision level one, you will notice that this is my base mesh. Well, we don't have to do that ourselves. As soon as we go to UV master, notice that we have a button called work on clone. That will be our first step for laying on UVs inside of UV master. And notice right here, the meshes that we have open inside of our tool window. We have our infinity scan head, then we have the simple brush, a cylinder, and a polymesh 3D. As soon as I click work on the clone, ZBrush will create a duplicate of my base mesh from the high resolution mesh, and it will place it inside of our tool tray right here with the letter CL underscore and then the name of the mesh. CL stands for clone, so we're gonna be working on a clone. Now, we're gonna work from top to bottom. As soon as I click unwrap, ZBrush will take a matter of seconds to create UVs. Now, to view the UVs, we're gonna to have to go to the bottom to where it says flatten. And as you can see, even though they're not the most beautiful UVs in the world, ZBrush has created a set of UVs for our character. To get out of here, we're gonna click on unflatten. And then the next step will be to copy these UVs from the clone. Copy UVs. We will leave the UV master open. We will go to our original mesh. And we don't have to be in the base mesh for this tool right here. We can be in the highest subdivision level. And then with the UV master menu open, we will click on paste UVs. As soon as we do that, if we go to our UV map menu inside of our tool, notice that now the delete UVs and the morph UVs buttons are live. That means that we have UVs assigned to this mesh right here. If we go to our texture map, now what we can do is that we can export the color information from the mesh into a map based on the UV coordinates that we have created for this mesh. So we will go to create, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on new from polypaint. So we're gonna create a new map from our polypaint. As soon as I do that, notice that now ZBrush has created a texture map with the transplanted colors from our polypaint. Now what we can do is we can export this map outside of ZBrush and tweak it in programs such as Photoshop. You notice that the UVs that we got were good UVs, however, were not the best laid out UVs. So what we're gonna be doing next is laying out better UVs with the additional tools that we have inside of UV Master.